Hello everybody and welcome to another Mario Kart Wii tutorial on Dolphin. Today I'm going to show you how you can play online on Mario Kart Wii on Dolphin even though that the servers have now been um, closed down. Um, I probably should have um, explained it first before I made that statement. I'm also going to turn my sound down a bit. Uh, basically um, in 2014, kind of when Mario Kart Wii came out, uh, you've always had an option to play online on Mario Kart, by the way. Basically what happened is Nintendo shut down the servers for Mario Kart Wii uh, because it's an old game now. Uh, so they didn't feel they had to uh, run them anymore because Mario Kart 8 was coming out and everyone was going to play that. But that's not the case for some people as there are still plenty of people who play Mario Kart Wii, including myself. I do play Mario Kart 8 as well, by the way, and you'll know that if you've seen my videos. Anyway, what's happened is, somebody uh, has made a, their own custom server, which basically, they've replaced the Nintendo's with their custom server, and everyone is now playing on that, and it's, it's, the server's basically called Wii MiFi, which is basically a custom sort of server, as I was saying. Anyway, um... For the last tutorial, it's actually very similar to that, however, instead of three things you need four this time, you need Dolphin, again, like I said in the last episode, there are plenty of tutorials how to install that, I'm assuming you, that you've not come to this video if you've not already got Dolphin, you also need a Mario Kart Wii ISO, like last video, uh, you just need to get that yourself if you've not got it, because I, there's no way I can put that in the description without my video getting taken down. And I'm assuming you already had that as well. Now, you need two different things this time, obviously. what First, what you need is basically uh, a Wii MiFi patcher that basically patches the ISO. It's very similar to the Wii's Mario Kart fun one. Uh, it, it pretty much works the same, except it just looks a bit different. And you also need uh, the Wii MiFi unbanner. And you're probably wondering, why do we need an unbanner? Because... Surely we're not going to be banned before we go on it, because you can get banned from Mario Kart Wii uh, servers, and that's because, like with CTGP, uh, Dolphin is looked down on, again, for the same reasons, due to hacking and stuff. Uh, Dolphin users are automatically banned from logging into Wii MiFi, but, unlike with CTGP, there is a solution to that, as there is an unbanner which basically... Uh, tricks Wii MiFi into thinking that uh, Dolphin is actually a real Wii. So then it will let you on. However, and there is a bit of a twist that will affect you. And I will explain that to you when we get to the relevant time. So, uh, I'm not going to go to the download websites like in the last episode. Because I have already done this. And also, uh, you... Um, there's two things to download, so it'll just take uh, longer. But I'm going to show you... I will put the links to the uh, websites to download uh, these two files in the description, by the way. But what I'm going to do is show you what you should have and what you need to do. Uh, so, if we go first into where we keep my ISOs, because uh, that's where I got it. Uh, basically, when you download the Wii MiFi patcher, uh, you will get uh, a zip file and then when you extract it using 7-zip, I did show you how to do that in the last tutorial. So if you're not confident on like, extracting things, last tutorial I did actually download the relevant um, things and extract them just to show you how to do it. So you should have a folder like this. Uh, open it up and you should have these files. Uh, now what you need to do like last episode, I'm not going to... Um, uh, do it because it's pretty straightforward. You basically need to drag your ISO into here from wherever it's located, whatever directory, it doesn't matter. Just drag it into literally this file, this folder, nowhere else. You don't need to put it in the subfolder or anything. And then you need to click this option, which is patch Wii MiFi. I'm not going to do that either. Uh, I don't believe you actually have to answer any questions. Um, like with the Weems Mario Kart phone, it literally just um, uh, patches your ISO to have Wii MiFi enabled. 
and it will appear in a folder called WeMyFi-Images that looks like this. I've got nothing in there at the moment because I've already moved everything that was in there out of there and I've not uh, put anything in there since. Now we're on to the unbanner bit because if you try and log in now you're just automatically going to get banned. So it's pointless. Are you going to get an error code that's like 239192 or 23917? Not sure, something like that. It's 239 something. Uh, so what you need to do now is go back and go into where your Dolphin emulator folder is, which is basically the emulator itself. I think it should just automatically be in documents for you or downloads if you downloaded it. Uh, for me it's here. And you see in here I've got a We My Fight Unbanner. Now, you don't need to um, have that in the Dolphin Emulator folder. You can have it anywhere. But what you actually need to do with this is you have to open it up like you would with... And it's going to open up a similar um, script to if you were doing patching an ISO. And it'll ask you to drag your folder... Uh, what you'd have to do is you'd have to, I'll just show you, drag um, drag this Dolphin emulator folder. So you just drag that to wherever. And then what you have to do is basically you press enter and then it would uh, basically quickly patch the files. It only takes a couple of seconds and then it would just say that like you had to create a new license maybe for it to work I don't think you have to but I would recommend doing that just in case to make sure that it's a it's as um, less that doesn't make sense it's not it's so like not obvious that this is um dolphin just so that you've got the least amount of chance of getting banned uh, so then what you'd need to do after you've done that after both of them, by the way, it should say press any key to continue, I believe. Uh, do not go off any of these um, programming script things, ISO patches, unless it says that or else it will not work properly, your uh, outputted ISO. So then once you've done that, uh, you're sorted. So what you need to do next is you need to go into Dolphin, uh, find your... Um, relevant to uh, Mario Kart Wii S ISO. I'm just going to uh, locate it from here because I've got a lot of Mario Kart Wii ISOs with different uh, custom track packs and stuff attached. So uh, this is the original game. Okay, that is the wrong game. I clicked the wrong game. Sorry guys. I think I clicked on Mario Golf by mistake. Uh, no, you cannot install this on Mario Golf. Uh, oh, one more thing, you can, um, oh, that's Mario Party is what I did it on. So I need to find my original, right, where's my original, um, ISO? Oh, sorry guys, uh, yeah, I was just doing testing something before the video. Um, I had to move my uh, ISO to somewhere else. I was trying to test how to fix the CTGP uh, revolution issue. Uh, I was testing something. It didn't work, by the way, so I won't be doing a tutorial on it. But, yeah, I had to move my ISO to somewhere else as I was using a, a ISO patcher. So, uh, I'm going to just... Uh, locate that back where it needs to be in my uh, Dolphin ROMs folder and I'll see you guys in a minute when I've done that. Okay, so my ISO is now back where it needs to be. Thank goodness for that. I did actually get a bit worried there that I'd lost all my save game and everything, but no, we're fine. Uh, so uh, we're going to boot up the Mario Kart Wii. Can't remember if I said that before, uh, before I went, but you can do this to any custom track ISO and uh, if you patch one, by the way, it will do all of them automatically, so you don't need to do each individual one. Uh, just to let you know about that, so that you aren't going through them all. Once you've done one, it, it does it automatically for them all. Uh, so yeah, you can see i got those two profiles there. I literally just created them to make sure that I had no problems with um, things going missing and stuff, and me getting banned and things like that before I'd even done anything. 
So what you need to do now, once you've loaded up uh, your original game or whatever custom track pack you want to use, uh, it will do the same thing for any. Uh, you need to click down here where it says uh, We My Fi WFC. Click one or two players. We're going to do one player as I, there's no one else with me right now. And try connecting. Okay, so when you try and connect, uh, it's going to come up with a, a message um, saying that it, there was an error code during login. Uh, this isn't the one it should come up with. Well, actually, if it does come up with this, it's actually better than the one it... It would come up with an error code that said 23899 uh, when you first did it. Basically, you have to wait seven days before you get unbanned. Uh, just to make sure uh, that everything's good. Um, it's basically, again, to do with the dolphin and that sort of thing. So it would come up with an error code saying 23899. Now, the reason it's come up with one saying 23885 for me is because uh, if you were to log out, and then, um, like I was saying, you, you have to wait seven days, you were to log out, then you came logging back in straight after, it would come up with an error code saying 23887. Now, the number at the end of that error code, uh, that's except for 23899, which is basically just saying, uh, you got to wait you got to wait a bit until we can, you can, your console gets activated as um, basically this is for the entire console so it would display the same thing whatever ISO you went on, um, whatever custom track pack I mean, um, basically the number at the end of, so it would go 23887 which means you have to wait 7 days, a day after that obviously 7 minus 1 is 6 because we've you've had one day say 23886 which means you have to wait six days so basically that would keep counting down and counting down until it gets to basically it was um it then goes in after 23881 it goes into hours so it would say 23 whatever 20 so it'd be like 23819 would be 19 hours until you could play it so basically, it's exactly one week after you first in installed it. So, if you install it, say, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. on Monday, the... I'm making a random date up. 23rd of January, 2017. I know that's probably not the right, but I'm just good doing it as an example. Um, you would be able to play online a week later. So, it would be Monday, whatever the date would be a week after. I'm not going to work out, even though I am actually quite good at maths at 8 p.m. so it, it's it does it to the exact minute the exact second basically so so you can see here I've got to wait five more days before I can play online so that'll be what Monday Tuesday next week I think it's actually Monday because it's not got to the time yet I think I did it like eight uh, last Monday it's first days I'm recording this so it still thinks it's five days when it's actually gonna be um, four days when it gets to eight tonight anyway there's nothing you can do about it so yeah uh, one more important thing before I end this episode is that um, you can get banned again um, if you change any of your settings on Dolphin this is important you need to keep your settings the same because otherwise boom they'll think that you've hacked it or something even if you haven't they'll ban you straight away like you'll get the same you'll get an error code to say it's been banned which is like 23917 I think and then you'll have to do all this again you'll have to patch an ISO even though that you've patched it before any of your custom track ones do basically everything I've done in this episode unbanning it everything everything I've talked about and then yeah you'd have to wait seven more days so I did actually get banned um I'm not sure why it's a strange thing that's happening with Weems Mario Kart fun where if I try and join a region, um, which is basically the custom track thing there, so region, such a thing, it just bans me straight away, I'm not sure why. I've used it on a different pack and it's worked, but yeah, I've had a bit of trouble with that. So just keep that in mind, you may, you may just get banned again, 
and have to do this again every so often for something you've done but yeah anyway that's the best it is for dolphin you can't there's no way to really do it any better as far as we know for now anyway hope you enjoyed it hope this helped um i will do some videos online maybe some live streams even in the future where i'll let you come and join me i'll probably do it on the uh, nintendo tracks though because if everyone's using different packs it's not going to work as i found out in a live stream that is on youtube last week it was quite embarrassing <laughs> The YouTuber was a bit confused with why I was not on his map or going off his map. But anyway, yeah, we don't want that happening because it just confuses everyone and the race doesn't work properly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial which is going to be on um, how to install a number of different packs actually including an old version of CTGP Revolution. So I'll see you then. Bye!